Welcome back to Honor Football. Today's review is going to be on the Rawlings Tachyon football helmet that I picked up from safetyfirstsports.com. This is the helmet that I unboxed a couple weeks ago. You guys you know, saw the unboxing, you saw the link of where to get this helmet. So I'm going to give you guys the detailed performance review, talk about some of the things that you know, make this helmet so special, why I got the 5 star rating, talk about the AC2, the C3D, and of course I'm going to go into all the things that Carl found helmets, the protection, the comfort, the ease of cleaning, the ventilation, and of course the weight of the helmet. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Let's take a look at just the overall design of the helmet itself. This is a traditional offset shell. So this is, it's still gonna be round. It's also not gonna be bigger. So you know, you guys who don't like that bobblehead look in the helmet, you know, you're not gonna have the bobblehead look with this. Uh, the fit of the helmet is just the same as all the other ones. So I wear a large and shut Riddell a Rawlings Zenith and this is going to maintain that same sizing. Of course you can go on the Rawlings website and check out the individual sizing, um, you know your hat size as well as the circumference to get the perfect fit for you. Going back to the style of the helmet you can see that it has this vent right here right in the middle. Um, it's kind of unique and I actually really like that look of the helmet. It has this mohawk design a lot of the helmets are, you know, having that now because that's going to aid in some of the protection and impact absorption of the helmet shell itself. It's also really ventilated because besides this middle hole here, it also has holes all down the side. Um, what's really nice about that is those holes are not covered up at all, not by an overliner, as you can see, you know, all the way through the helmet. Now, in the unboxing, I talked about the C3D. I didn't know what that stood for as well as the AC2. Didn't know what that stood for. The C3D is really refers to uh, the pads on the inside. Um, if you can take a look here, it might be hard to see, but uh, it has, it's made up of a whole bunch of little pads and that's where the, C, the, the uh, 3D comes in. And that means that, you know, the smaller the pads, the more that it can actually touch the outside of the shell. And that's gonna aid in your impact protection uh, because when you get the impact to the outside of the shell, that's gonna transfer to the foam and away from, from your head. So the more foam, or more of the padding, I don't know if it's really foam, uh, on the inside, uh, the more protection it's gonna give you. Then you have AC2, that's active core compression. And what the active core compression does is that it, there's different thicknesses uh, throughout the inside of the helmet. So a lot of helmets these days are going to that. That's the safest way. That's how you get that five star rating. The Speed Flex has you know, different impact absorption uh, throughout the helmet. Uh, so does uh, helmets like the Zenith. You know, it has different size pods. The Epic and the X2E both carry that. Um, another helmet that has that is the VTD. Um, you know, the, from shut, the VTD, Vengeance helmets, those all are going to have variable thicknesses. Um, that's how, you know, your top helmets are going to have that. Um, but this also talks about how it stays consistent through different temperature. Your traditional foam in a helmet, when your helmet gets hot, which all helmets do when you're playing football, is not going to maintain the same uh, safety properties that it does at the, the, you know, regular room temperature. So now the Virginia Tech study, it's got a five-star rating. Um, which is the top rating. You can look at the Virginia Tech study to see the actual number. Um, but however, when you look at the Virginia Tech study, that study is done at a specific temperature. Um, it might be room temperature, but it's, it's definitely not done when the helmet is, is hot, which is your playing temperature. Foam breaks down at hot temperatures, um, which is why, you know, when I don't really put a lot of faith in the Virginia Tech study, uh, because that doesn't account for the actual playing temperature of your helmet. Um, so helmets like I reviewed before, sorry I'm getting off on a little tangent, but you guys need to understand this. Helmets I reviewed before um, that don't have foam, things like the Zenith, things like the VTD from Shut, um, those got a little bit higher protection ratings, even though they might not be five stars because uh, they are going to protect you more uh, at those higher temperatures. So this helmet as well talks about at higher temperatures, it's still going to protect you the same as it does at lower temperatures. So that's another spin on that. You see that I got the blackout package on this as well. The blackout package comes with the black bumper at the back. It comes with the black jaw pads on the inside. It comes with the black front bumper right here. Again, this is from Safety First Sports. That's one of the reasons I love ordering helmets from them because you can customize your helmets because they get it right from the manufacturer just like if you were ordering it from Rawlings. So again, the link is gonna be in the description. Um, this helmet does have two air inflation points. Um, you know, most of the newer helmets have three to give you that custom fit. Um, although I felt with two, it was great. You know, it gives you one along the top and it gives you one along the side to really form to your head. One of the things that I didn't like about this helmet was actually the back of it. So there's nothing here to kind of hold this in place. 
And whenever I put on the helmet, it was always catching right here. So when I put on the helmet, I actually, when I usually put on a helmet, I put it on this way, right? And the, the padding at the back, I don't know if you can see it, it's like all the way tucked in there. So with this helmet, it was kind of annoying. I have to start at the back like this and then slide the helmet on, you know, this way. So that's just a, a little caveat with this helmet. Um, there's a variety of different face masks that fit it. This is a Rawlings face mask. I believe this is the S02 uh, helmet. Um, this is one that's going to be the most wide open face mask. It's got an open, it's got one single bar up here, so it doesn't have that double bar. Um, and the face mask is really short. This is going to be for your quarterbacks, uh, your wide receivers, and, and corners who really want to have all that visibility, um, you know, for the football. It's not the most aggressive looking face mask. I think there's some helmets that have some better looking face masks. Um, but I did get this one just because it's a, a, a wide open face mask. Um, so obviously your visibility is going to be high. Um, look at the visor here. You guys are going to have questions about that. This is just a shock visor. Uh, this is actually the clear iridium visor. So there's actually no tint to it. Um, you know, so I do think, my opinion, you can wear it in high school. Um, but it is going to have that. It looks like a mirror. It looks like iridium. But when you look up close, you can see through it. Um, so go check out my shock visor review on that. Um, that's kind of the outside details of this helmet. You can see that I already replaced the chin strap with the Sports Star. I reviewed those as well. Um, but you know, those are the kind of things I like to add to my helmets. Um, now I'll get into some of the uh, protection with this helmet. And I did give this helmet an 8.5 out of 10 um, because it has great protection for all the things I talked about. However, when you compare it to some of the other helmets like the Speedflex, it doesn't have a locking chin strap. So your helmet still has the ability to pop off. Um, even though it never has with me, um, but that's the reason why I didn't get the 9 and I only gave it the 8.5. Now the comfort on this helmet, top notch, one of the most comfortable helmets I've ever had. Helmets are getting better and better um, every year, uh, but the C3D padding, the AC2 padding on the inside of this helmet is super comfortable. You put it on, when you inflate it with air, it's going to hug your head in all the right places um, and it makes it really comfortable. So this did get a 9 out of 10 for comfort. Cleaning on this helmet is actually going to be pretty easy. Um, you know, this padding right here, even though you can see into it, um, it's not going to absorb any moisture. You can really wipe this down because of what's covering the padding. So you see it has these, the core, that's what's on the inside, you know, for the uh, AC2. Um, and then it also has this outside padding. So you can actually wipe that down. You can wipe down the jaw pads, which, you know, come out with snaps. Um, and then you have this forehead pad. That's the only part that's going to be a little more challenging. Um, if you guys remember the Speed, it was probably the first helmet that really had that, you know, padding on the inside for the forehead right here. Um, but that's going to be a little bit tougher for you to wipe down because it is going to absorb some of your moisture. Um, with that being said, you're not going to get sweat in your eyes because if you had that padding, but that makes it a little bit harder to clean. So for ease of cleaning, this helmet did get an 8 out of 10. A lot of you guys saw me post this helmet to my Instagram. Uh, and you, you know, you commented that you thought it was a heavy helmet. I myself also thought it'd be a he heavy helmet looking at it. Um, you know, it does have that straight carbon steel face mask, which is going to keep the helmet heavier. Um, but still, the shell and the interior padding were pretty light. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10 um, because, you know, it just wasn't that heavy compared to some of my other helmets. So it was right up there, kind of with the Speed Flex, had that about that same weight, you know, when I was playing with it. So again, it got an 8.5 out of 10. Now the ventilation on this helmet, I haven't talked about, uh, you know, with some of my other helmets, probably because I honestly just forgot to, you know, put that rating in, but I am remembering it for this review. I already showed you guys all the, you know, vent ports on it that kind of suck out the heat in the helmet. Um, and you can see that there's nothing that blocks that. There's nothing that blocks on the inside except for that top vent uh, right over the helmet. I don't know if that's you know, this vent, I don't know if it's functional or just for looks, it looks raw, uh, but all the other vents in the helmet, you can see straight through it right there. Um, so that's gonna allow you all that heat to escape. Um, it has a sweat pad, so it's not only gonna allow the heat to escape, but it's going to stop the sweat from dripping down in your eyes if you're not wearing a scully. So ventilation for this helmet, the breathability, got a nine out of 10. Now the last two things I wanna talk about with this helmet are the price and where to get it. Uh, the price of this helmet is actually on this website where I got it. Uh, again, the link is in the description. The price of the helmet is $290. Again, you can fully customize this blackout package. Um, you know, you can get a hard cup chin strap, you can get a soft cup chin strap, you can get the color of the chin strap you want. I don't think you can do that with any other online retailer except for Safety First Sports. Um, $290. I think it might be on sale right now. 
um, but I did get it from there. So that's kind of the price of the adult helmet. So go ahead and check that out. Um, something else that's kind of nice is it comes with this black sticker. Um, something I wish Riddell would start doing. Um, so, you know, it doesn't mess up the matte black uh, finish. It doesn't, you know, detract from it. This sticker is white, kind of annoying. You can try to peel this off, um, but if they had a black version, that would make it even better. Um, so that is a, my review on the helmet. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, again, this is the Rawlings Tachyon. Go ahead, check out the link in the description, and check out the site. So if you like my reviews, remember to give me a thumbs up, share my video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.